Welcome to a short tutorial on assembling and disassembling our club liners. This video is about how you can easily remove dirt from the parts installed in the club liner yourself. First, we remove the housing cover of the appliance. And then remove the filter module. Now we use the screwdriver from the scope of delivery to loosen the four screws that fix the housing. Then we lift the loose housing and pull it off over the hose. Our device should now look like this. Next, we take care of the clamping device. To do this, we loosen the screw by about one quarter turn. The screw must not be unscrewed under any circumstances. Now the drive belt can be detached from the tension roller with a little dexterity. Now we turn the club liner around and do the same on the other side. We then loosen the marked screw slightly. Again, the screw must not be unscrewed under any circumstances. Then we carefully move the screw to the right and the shaft is unlocked. To separate the rollers from the axle, we turn the device again. Now we use the screwdriver to push the axle out of the shaft that we have just unlocked on the other side. And we have already separated the rollers from the axle and can clean the dirt off them. The rollers have a toothed side in which the drive belt runs and a flat side that must always face inwards when installed. On the other side we also remove the rollers. When everything is clean, we can put the rollers back in. The flat sides face inwards. Next we push the axle back into the shaft to fix the rollers. Note that the axle has an open and a close side. The direction in which the closed side of the axle must face when inserted depends on the opening of the shaft on the other side of the device. After the axle has been correct or reinserted, we hand tighten the locking screw. Then we install the rollers on the other side of the device in the same way. Now the loosened drive belts must also be reattached. The clamping device is still flexible because we loosened the screw beforehand. To bring the drive belts back to tension, we turn the tension roller downwards as shown and tighten the screw. If the small opening is too far down, for example here, the drive belt is overstretched and a new one is needed. On the other side the drive belt must also be inserted. To do this, we repeat our steps. When we have finished, we put the housing back on over the hose. Tighten the four housing screws. Replace the housing cover and you are done. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, or if you have any questions, leave us a comment or visit us on Facebook.